Now, summer may be the season of sun, surf and bikinis, but it also tends to be the time of year that we overindulge at mealtimes. Here to give us some tips on keeping our eating in check, popular health and nutrition bloggers, Julia and Libby Matthews. Good morning, guys. Good morning. So lovely to have you both in the studio with us. Thank you for having us. Um, Julia, what are the worst foods that we eat over summer, do you reckon? Uh, I think alcohol, really. <laughs> we eat our alcohol. <laughs> well, no, you're right. No, you're right. Yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's the season for it, right? It's the weather's warmer. It's catch-ups, Christmas parties. Yeah. Um, I think, if anything, summer's probably better eating. Less carbs, more barbecue, salads, fruit. Mm. So just being mindful of how much you are indulging. And that's yeah, a time coming up to Christmas too because um, there's Christmas parties every second day and get-togethers yeah. and it's, it's, a, it's an easy trap to fall into, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Now, Libby, you're a nutritionist. What do you reckon this is doing to our bodies? Well, I find if I go to heaps of Christmas parties, there's always, you know, cake, sweet treats, and all of that's full of refined sugar. Um, and too much refined sugar can cause inflammation in the body, and when there's too much inflammation, it can cause, you know, diabetes, heart disease, lowered immunity, so I think we just need to be careful with how much refined sugar we are eating. And the problem is too is that you go to these events and quite often you've been rushing so you haven't had a proper meal, you haven't had lunch and so it's, you go, oh, I'll just eat all those canapes because yep. they're delicious, and they're only this big. What possible harm could they be doing? And they can be doing quite a lot of harm, actually. Yes. So can, can you give us some tips and what should we be doing to avoid those unhealthy choices? I definitely think starting the day with breakfast. So many people miss breakfast. Um, and they'll just go grab, you know, go to a cafe and grab like a muffin, a croissant, something unhealthy. But if you start the day with something, you know, eggs on toast, um, I feel like you make better food choices throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Making sure you're really hydrated, because that's one thing. You think that you're hungry and you're actually just need to grab some water or just being prepared and having snacks with you um, I know that's easier said than done sometimes if you're like a busy mom or you've you know you've mm. got to be at work at seven in the morning but even just prepping the night before so having like overnight oats or um, taking some nuts and seeds taking yes. an apple that's easy to do, isn't it? Or grab a, grab a banana or something, or a little bag of nuts. Yeah. Now, you guys have got a new book out just in time for Christmas. Oh, my goodness. How convenient is that? <laughs> so, so what are some of your favourite summer recipes from in here? My favourite recipe is the caramel slice. What's in the caramel slice? That sounds decadent. So it's actually, um, it's actually dairy free. Oh look, I just opened it right <laughs> yes. on stage. The gooey, gooey caramel slice. The caramel's made out of dates. And tahini. And tahini, yeah. yeah. And does it still give you that nice caramelly taste? Mm. It does. Dates and tahini, is it going to cut it? it? It actually does. What's your favourite one, Julia? <laughs> the lemon tart. Right, so we're going for the sweet treats. That's, yeah. <laughs> you seem to have like quite That's a lot of too. sweet treats in this book. This Our second book we um, self-published, so we had control over everything that went in it and we know our audience love sweet food they love so sweet that, that's our biggest section and that's what we love as well so if you had to choose some things that you have always got in your pantry to make your eating a little bit healthier what would they be two things from both of you eggs eggs always breakfast lunch dinner you can make some something anything out of eggs <sighs> eggs almond milk oats brown rice that's more there too <laughs> but i feel like those you can yeah, whip a smoothie up or make some an omelette. Right, you can always have something that's yeah. good to go and that's going to stop you reaching for those really yummy, but um, really some of the muffins you buy in, in shops are just cakes, aren't they? Yeah. Let's be honest, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, Nourish is a wonderful book. I've already made the macadamia blondie out of it mm -hmm. and it was delicious. Thank you very much for that. Um, and thanks, guys, for coming in. Thank you, Beth. Now, for a copy of their book, you can go to the website, julia.com.